So in the last episode, we were able to work on my SQL database and we created the Prisma schema. And in this episode, I want us to work on uh, our hotel form so that we can be able to create a hotel, update a hotel and so on. So to begin with, uh, we will sync our Prisma schema with the database. So these are the commands that we need to run npx uh, Prisma generate. So these will keep our Prisma client updated depending on the types that we added at the Prisma schema. And then these will keep our project um, and MySQL database in sync. So we'll say npx Prisma db push. We hit enter and you can see your database is now in sync with your Prisma schema. Now right here, if I say npx Prisma uh, studio this will show us the different tables and the and whatever data that we have in our uh, database so this will give us a link which we can visit so at localhost uh, 555 uh, it has already opened right here you'll see that we already have these models booking which is zero it doesn't have any data hotel which is zero and room which is zero and we can be coming here and checking whatever data that we have added and so on so for now i'll just close that tab okay we will come to the app here and we'll create a new page for the hotel so right here you will see that i have already added these two folders so the first folder that you need to add is a hotel folder inside the app okay a hotel folder and then inside the hotel folder we will add hotel id so this is uh, an l a small l and then this is a capital i so don't confuse them and inside hotel id we will add a new file and we'll call this one page.tsx just like that so we will be coming to this route whenever adding a new hotel by saying stroke hotel then a stroke new so new will be like the ID for a new hotel. Then we'll be able to get to this page where we will be having our form. And when updating a hotel, we'll be having stroke hotel, then stroke the ID of that hotel. And then we'll use that ID of the hotel to get a hotel uh, with a given ID. And then we'll populate our form with that particular data. Okay. So we'll be using the same form for creating a new hotel and also for updating the hotel okay so right here we will create a component and we can say hotel create whichever name that you want to name it or it can be just hotel just like that okay now right here let's have a div and inside this div is where we will be having our hotel form so let's go ahead and create the form we'll come to components and inside components you can add a new folder called hotel and this is where we'll keep different components for our hotel. So inside the hotel folder, add a new file and I'll call this one add hotel form dot tsx status functional component add hotel form and this will be a client component so you can add use client at the very top. So right here, I'll just say use client let's just say add i'll go ahead and save now i come to the page here and right here we will display our add hotel form just like that pretty nice so this page is a server component and from a server component we can actually be able to fetch data from an api or from backend so now what we are going to do we will create a function that will help us to fetch data from our database and then we can use it right here to fetch a hotel okay and if a hotel exists we will know that we are updating the hotel if it does not exist we will know that we are creating a new one so right here you can minimize everything at the root here you can add a new folder and we can call this one actions so we'll be using this actions folder mostly to get data using prisma from the database so right here i'll add a new file and i'll call it get a hotel by id.ts then from here we will export a function so i'll say export const um get hotel by id 
then we'll set this to be an async function just like that we will receive the hotel id inside this function so hotel then id this will be type of a string then we'll be making use of that id to get a certain hotel so right here uh, we can add a try and catch block for error we can just say error is of type any right here we can just say draw new error and we pass in the error that we get now right here at the try we can say const hotel will be equal to we await and we'll say prisma db which comes from libs so we had created these earlier from right here where we made it to be a variable globally so we get prisma db like that then we'll say dot hotel then dot find unique then we pass right here where and we'll say id is hotel id i'll use a comma here and i'll say include so when fetching a hotel we can also fetch the rooms that we have in this particular hotel so we include even the rooms just like that right here we'll say if we don't have a hotel we'll go ahead and return null so we will return null just like that then here we will just return our hotel pretty nice i go ahead and save now we can make use of this function inside our page to get a single hotel so let's come back to the page so this page will be having some params so right here i'll add an interface of hotel page props then right here we'll say params to be um hotel id which will be a string then right here we will receive the params so params means that we will be getting the uh, hotel id from the url params and we'll say hotel uh, page props now let's test if we get an id so what we need to do is when you come right here and we click add hotel you will see it will navigate to stroke hotel then stroke new and we actually get an error so our app is not running so let's go ahead and make sure it's running uh, npm run dev so i will refresh so now you see here we have add and this is coming from our add hotel form which is this one then at the url here you'll see we went to stroke hotel stroke hotel id in this case new is our hotel id but when we get new that means that we will not be getting any hotel data it will be null and if it's null that means that we'll be creating a new hotel and if we actually get back a hotel we will be updating that hotel okay this will actually show up on the server not on the client and you'll see here we have hotel id is new okay so for new that means that we don't have any actual uh, hotel therefore we will be creating a new one so let's try to fetch the data here using the new id there so we'll say hotel will be equal to we await and right here we'll say get um, hotel by id then we will invoke that and we'll pass our hotel id as params dot uh, hotel id just like that now this is complaining because we have used await we should also mark this function as an async function just like that uh, another thing is that we can check if we have a user because when creating a hotel we really need to have a user logged in so this is how we can do it we can say const user id uh, will be equal to we call of like this from crack next js and we invoke it so on the server you can just call of directly like this and then on the client we have a hook that works similarly called the use of hook from clark next js okay and we'll say if we don't have a user id we will return immediately are uh, not authenticated then we will check the hotel user id if it's the same as the user id here 
and if they are the same that is only when we will allow that user to edit his or her own hotel else we will deny access so right here we'll perform another check we will say if we have a hotel and and if the hotel dot user id is not equal to this particular user id then we'll go ahead and say access are denied like these are not the owner of the hotel so they should not be able to uh, edit that particular hotel okay so we perform those two checks right there then we come now to our add hotel form at our add hotel form we will be passing a hotel and i'll come right here and we will add the types for that i'll add an interface we will say add hotel form props we will say that we will get a hotel and these will be of type hotel but we also want to include the rooms so for that we can create a separate type down here and i'll say export type a hotel with rooms and i'll set this one to be equal to type hotel we get that from prisma client and right here we will say and we include an object we will say it will have rooms a uh, room will be an array and this should be rooms like that we get these rooms from prisma client so you can hit control space to get this suggestion we will type our hotel right here as hotel with rooms so now we will receive a prop here which is hotel so right here we will say this is uh, add hotel form props it will have hotel with rooms we can make this to be either hotel with rooms or null so if we get null that means that we will be creating a new hotel but if we get back a hotel with its rooms then we will be updating the hotel so i'll go ahead and save that then we come back to the page here you see it comprehends it expects a hotel or null so we'll pass a hotel the hotel is hotel now i can close this page and i can come now to this add hotel form and this is where we'll actually spend most of the time on okay because it will have a lot of things creating a hotel creating an image uh, creating the rooms updating the rooms updating the hotel the reaching and so much more so this page uh, we might spend uh, a lot uh, quite a lot of time right here uh, but i assure you that it will be worth it